any of this right now because of the times that we're in, but man, do I want to boo -hoo. chomp boo -hoo. into boo -hoo. these I'm tomatoes. Hungry. I'm going to eat all of these up. As soon as we get off the air, I'm going to lay into them. All right, dude, these are beefsteak <laughs> tomatoes. Um, you can, they excel as container garden beefsteak tomatoes is my understanding. This uh -huh. is a new um, put together kind of collection in terms of like size of the collection. It is yes. feature priced at $24.95. Shipping and handling is free. Easy pay is $8.32 and it's M68340. Okay, uh, well, let's talk variety. You want to first? We're seeing the chef's choice. There is a the beautiful golden one. Look at that. That's a chef's choice yellow. And if you like a low acid tomato that's not low on flavor, that's the one for you. It is an award winner, and it is also the perfect balance of sweet and tart. Mm -hmm. In other words, they are big, and they're great for cubing and topping off that frozen pizza in case you're lazy like I am. <laughs> but look at look at there. It's a rainbow of colors. Yeah. And I, the dark purple one that you see, that is Dark Star. Okay. You get two each of these varieties, and that Dark Star, I have to tell you, I love, love, love that one. Oh. So yes. then we saw the, then the, what's the red one? big red truck you've heard of truck farming right no these things are big and by the way listen let me tell you about that yeah. one. Okay. it is a late fruiting one you know how a lot of times you have all the tomatoes happen all at once yeah that one happens a little bit later so they're staged that's how i chose this collection not just for the delicious tomatoes but to make sure that you have got a harvest all season long oh my gosh these i mean <laughs> i I'm kind of, like I said, I'm disappointed it's I don't get flavor. to taste it. But it is the flavor. But also what I'm just even noticing on the cut through these, this particular big truck red or whatever you call this one. Big red is, truck, baby. Is the um, consistency of it. It doesn't feel mealy to me. It's got a, it's not hard either. It feels like a sweet spot in there. And what I'm seeing in these babies are juicy, juicy, juicy. Uh-huh. And that's what it's all about. But I have to tell you, the grocery yeah. store tomatoes had the really thick skin. They also had that pithiness on the inside. So they're really, you can almost play basketball with them, Ugh, whatever. <laughs> but I want something delicious. These are thin skin because that's where the, the flavor is. Bring these in. And we had stuffed tomatoes down in Mississippi where you stuff them with chicken salad or tuna salad or shrimp salad. Mm -hmm. But they're awesome in these different colors, cubed up. Uh, in salsa on top of a, a fresh green salad yeah. uh, or on top, if you, bought a, if you bought a meatloaf, put it on top of the meatloaf. Make mm -hmm. your own sauces out of this. And by the way, if you've got too much, share them because I'm telling you what, your neighbors would much rather have this than that zucchini that you grew too much of. There you go, for sure, because uh -huh. these are going to be, they can eat them like an apple. Um, so this is like your, your pizza you can do. How about the mozzarella? Yes. Oh. oh, yeah. And put a little balsamic you're, vinaigrette on so top fancy. of that. Fancy, fancy Nancy. I, well, I would like to tell you I put that together, but I did not. We've got much more talented <laughs> people doing this. And then, of course, there is that yummy um, just platter of those gorgeous it looks like tomatoes. A tomato pie. And Think here's, about it. Ah, and there's your um, pasta. You can put that with your pasta. This is one of mm. my favorite things to do with tomatoes. I love to do this, where you chop up the tomatoes. You put some onions in there. I might even put some um, Kalamata olives chopped up, and then oh. get Italian dressing on there and let them soak in. Ah, that's I'm so licking my lips. Good. I just, I'm just crazy about tomatoes, and I grew up with great tomatoes down in Mississippi. And I have to, because my grandfather was a big tomato grower and tomato broker in Crystal Springs, Mississippi. How about that? But the difference between the tomatoes then and now is that they have been bred for shipping. And so the flavor is gone. And if you are uh, having to, if you're growing your own tomatoes and they don't have good flavor, guess what? You bought the wrong tomatoes. Oh yeah. These are the right tomatoes. If yeah. you want delicious tomatoes, I guarantee these are gonna make your mouth water. So, okay, the plants, they come in, yeah. th they've got six plants. And, and, and they're dense. Yeah. Listen, so, how many tomato plants have you seen before that were just one little spindly thing? You go to most of the stores and that's what mm -hmm. you'll see. Yeah. A little spindly nothing. Yeah. These are nice bushy plants. Look at this. Ah, well look at rooted, that. but look at this plant. That's Heavens an, to Betsy, look at this. That's These a nice are gonna plant. work in your garden. They're gonna fruit straight away. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so Philip, though, um, can I guard if I've got don't have a space for a garden? Can I put them on my patio, in containers? Oh, they're they're great, and I tell you what, I buy those plastic 
um, uh, whiskey barrels. Yeah. You, you've seen those before. They're about 21 or 22 inches in, in diameter. And so fill it all up with soil, you know, not halfway up, all the way up, uh -huh. and plant these about two inches too deep, as it would seem. And they will root along the sides, put a tomato cage over it, and they will go to town. They'll go to the top of the tomato cage and just be beautiful. You can lightly mulch it. And if you wanted to plant some annuals around the edge of it to spill over just for fun, oh, you can do that, that too one. and put them on the front porch. Oh, yummy. I was trying to cut that. That is not a good knife to cut that with. <laughs> anyway, these beautiful tomatoes. Oh, my gosh. Tell me the three varieties again before we wrap up. Well, the red one is called Big Red Truck, and it is an enormous slicing tomato. Oh. And the yellow one is Chef's Choice Yellow. And that delicious purple one, Dark Star. You get two each of these varieties, six big tomato plants. Oh. I'm telling you, don't be without tomatoes. It's like having a summer with no sun. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so M68340, go ahead and pick those up. Um, $24.95 are going to get shipped right to your door, and you want to definitely grab your fertilizer along with that. Uh, put a little salt and pepper on there, and you're good to go. <laughs> All right, um, still to come, we have, oh, I don't know if we're going to get a chance to see these, but I, at least we're going to give you a, a little sneaky peek at it. The trumpet flowers. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, that trumpet plant. Angel is, trumpet. Angel trumpet plant. Oh my gosh. Big, dramatic flowers. Like a wow. This is M67118. They're a two piece fragrant and stunning pattern.